Welcome back and on the sidelines of the India Gold Conference, I also spoke to Mahindran Kiyo of the Precious Metals Division at Karur Vaisya Bank on the impact of gold duty on bankers and how does he look at the markets going forward when it comes to gold as a financial product and an investment. Uh, there was an element of uh, expectation basically because of an alternate channels of uh, flow into the country uh, but uh, definitely not uh, a drop of 9% from 15 to 6% and that was something which was which which took the whole industry by surprise it's it's good and uh, despite the prices of gold moving up to $2500 you're seeing a fair amount of volumes which is picking up i hope uh, this continues and uh, this is good for the industry this is good for the for, for all the stakeholders uh, we're seeing a lot of business, in fact, it's gone to an extent where there is some lag, delay in terms of supplies coming into the market. Uh, as I said, it's good, good. As a banker, how did you face that or how did you handle that? Because we do understand that there was a one-time loss on various positions. A lot of positions were uh, open as well, especially with the smaller uh, bullion guys there. See, we, 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 we've been in this industry for, uh, for a very long time and we know how the business operates. So we definitely recommend all the customers not to take any position or punt on be it the price of the gold or be it on the customs duty so from our point of view we always tell our customers to be guarded just before uh, before the budgets we see that they are, they were completely covered and I, I we, we will definitely not encourage anyone coming and saying that okay the price of customs duty is going to go down let me clear my stocks or let me buy more expecting the customs duty to go up so we are very clear on this aspect with all our clients and that's one of the reasons we, we, did not, we did not get affected despite the change in the prices. And having said it, it's not just customs duty or GST. It has a bearing on the sale of gold itself. Uh, so what happens is that the more you're clear, it's, it's more of a back-to-back -back, uh, transactions which you do with the clients and everyone does not have the problem of holding on to the stocks. The, mechanic, the way the mechanism works is when the price of gold goes up, uh, footfalls into the showrooms are low and when footfalls into the showrooms gets low there's no sales at all so, and to that extent until the socks gets cleared your your funding is going up there's there's the element of exposure and uh, things like that also how was the last one month since the budget because the import duty came down to six percent but the duty drawback continued at 15 percent yes so with, with the customs duty falling down in fact uh, i mean the differential in pricing was to the close to nine percent and uh, there's, there's been very good sales, as I said earlier. There, there's been a little bit of delay in getting stocks because everyone wants to buy. And also, we've got the festival season coming up. So I don't. I mean, this this industry is such that it's not a continuous flow all through the year. You have the ups and downs for whatever reasons. And I think uh, the industry and consumers have accepted the fact that this is a very good level to buy. So they see a differential of this nine percent, which is paying on. I mean, it's, it's definitely. Uh, a good sign when the prices moves up, I mean, all-time high, 2,500 plus, uh, you still have people walking into the showrooms and buying gold. So I think this 9% differential has been a great, great uh, um, interest which has been uh, kicked up by the customers, and I hope this trend continues. All right, important recommendations from a banker coming in there that shouldn't punt on the price of gold, the custom duty, or the GST changes when it comes to many of these commodities. Well, I also